Some of you may have seen the other day my boom heel build where I was using the artillery turret and the fixer drone. Now this build allowed me to deal a lot of damage. I used my weapon quite a bit, but I also had a lot of status effects that allowed my bleed to actually be a lot more effective than it normally would. However, in this video, I decided that I wanted to go for a more support oriented version of the same build. Now, when I make builds, I usually like to kind of experiment with different styles of it. And this is just one example that I think is really effective. Now, of course, because I am going more support, I am taking away a little bit of the damage from the build itself, but I am applying that to the team as a whole. And in keeping with that theme, I've also changed my healing skill from the drone to the hive, because that's just a little bit easier for my team to actually utilize. Now, of course, the main source of damage in this build is pretty much always going to be the artillery turret. However, that doesn't mean that I can't fire my weapon a good amount and deal pretty good damage with it, just constantly shooting at enemies. Again, it's not really the main focus or the highest source of damage, but when I do get into situations where I can combine both sources of damage in a very effective manner, you can definitely see how it becomes more engaging than just a typical place skill and hide type skill build. Honestly, I really enjoy builds like this, and it's for a couple simple reasons. One, I like skills. I mean, they're probably my favorite reason to play The Division, just to play with and test out new versions of skills and to kind of experiment with what works with them and what doesn't. And I also like being a support build because I do enjoy being a good support character, making sure that your team stays alive, making sure that your team makes it through the mission, making sure that your team has more damage buffs or more armor buffs, that kind of stuff. I do enjoy that. But at the same time, I also like dealing damage. I mean, honestly, there's not that many players in the game who don't want to deal damage. So the ability to heal my teammates, to support my teammates, to buff my teammates, to deal damage, to get kills, to basically just plow through enemies all in one build feels really good because I'm never without something to do. Right? There's always something to heal or there's always something to shoot or there's always a skill to use. And it makes me feel more involved in the combat. It makes me feel more involved in the game. And it just feels good to play that way. Now, just like the build that I released a few days ago, I am using the capacitor because obviously that gets weapon damage off of skill tiers, which is just great, right? And I also build up that skill damage buff so that my artillery turret is dealing even more damage when I am shooting at the enemy. My secondary weapon, since I am losing a little bit of damage and I don't really need the healing on this build, I have gone with the SIG with Sadist that gives me damage to bleeding targets. My pistol is going to be a card custom with Reformation, just in case I do need a little bit of extra healing. But honestly, that's not really that big of a deal. Now you can see here, I am using a four piece future initiative, except unlike a lot of future initiatives, I am using skill damage on my slots. So my mods are going to be repair skills and my slots are going to be skill damage on my future initiative. I am using the Memento backpack and of course, as I've said in numerous videos now, this is just one of the best all-around backpacks in the game. It actually feels like an exotic. It really gives you that depth and that usability for so many builds that it just, it's really hard to overlook it. It's really hard to use something else because it is so good and so effective and it allows so many builds to work well. I'm getting damage, I'm getting status effects, and I'm getting repairs off of that backpack. And as you can see, my gloves, my knee pads, and my holster are all future initiative rolled in skill damage. Now my chest piece is again a china light for that 15% explosive damage. It has status effects on it. It has skill damage on it. It has a repair skill mod. And I do have that talent, once again, kinetic momentum that gives me 60% repair skill when nothing's on cooldown and 30% skill damage when nothing's on cooldown. Now without any of my buffs on the build active, my hive is going to be healing for 266K per drone. And I do have 32 charges of those drones and a refill speed of two seconds per drone. So it's not exactly great as far as the skill haste goes on this build, but it's not terrible. My artillery turret is going to be hitting for 3.3 million damage. It's also got a cooldown of 15 seconds and a bleed damage of over 61k for 7.6 seconds. Now, once my memento is fully active, I am going to be healing for over 300k per drone with my hive. And my artillery turret will be upgraded to almost 4 million damage with an almost 82k bleed for a duration of almost 10 seconds. And in addition to Memento, once my other buffs are active, so like Capacitor or my Kinetic Momentum, 
I am going to be healing for a lot more and doing, dealing a lot more damage. I am going to be healing for about 500k per drone tick on the hive, and I will also be dealing over 5 million damage with the artillery turret. But since I am using the 4 piece future initiative, I am going to get that ground control bonus. That increases my weapon damage and my allies weapon damage by 15% when I or my allies are at full armor. In addition to this, I'm also going to be getting back 60% of healing that I give to them. What this allows me to do is throw the hive into a place for my allies or just stay away from the hive so I'm not draining the charges. And then whenever my allies get healed, then it saves more, more of the charges for the allies, but I'm also getting healing back from those heals. And then if any one of my allies is near me, within 5 meters, I'm also giving them 60% of that heal. It's kind of a win-win, right? I'm not wasting too many charges if I don't need to, and I can conserve them, making it you know more beneficial for my allies to get those direct heals while I'm kind of getting some of the side heals. So if I've got a tank build or some DPS builds up further ahead of me, then of course I can prioritize them to get the heals. But that 15% total damage buff that we're all getting, so weapon damage and skill damage, is a great benefit to the team. Obviously, when everyone is being healed constantly by me, we are all getting a rather nice buff to our damage. And the thing I like about this future initiative buff is it kind of encourages players to play a little bit more safe. So they want to stay alive. They don't want to do anything really kind of silly because they don't want to take damage and they don't want to lose this buff. So it's a little bit easier to heal them and it's a little bit easier for you know your team to stay alive dealing damage because people don't want to lose the buff so they're not trying to go out and do something extra risky. And because of this, they have an easier time being healed because they generally stay closer or behind cover. And this further increases their damage because they're not crawling on the ground waiting to be revived. They're not, you know, waiting for a reviver hive to pick them up. And they're not constantly in a state where they're waiting for the enemy to stop shooting at them so that they can finally shoot back. You know, it, it allows them to constantly shoot, constantly deal damage, not go down, not worry about healing so much. It just allows for a much smoother gameplay, in my opinion. But anyway, I find this build to be really effective and fun to use, especially if you like doing team-based missions. If you mostly play solo, it can still be incredibly effective. However, I probably would change out the Hive to the Fixer Drone because I think the Fixer Drone is just a little bit better in the self-repair category. But either way, it's up to you. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.